Hey y'all, what is going on? I didn't record an intro, so I just finished fishing and now I'm going back and recording an intro. Basically in this video, I am trying to fish John Hines in the morning. I don't do that enough probably. You know, I, most of my videos are just noon or whenever really, but not too much morning fishing. So in this video, I'm morning fishing and I'm trying some different lures. The goal of the video is to get on either bass or snakehead. If you have watched my channel, you know that the John Pine snakehead has eluded me for over a year now. So um, today was a great day of fishing. Hopefully you'll enjoy. I have not been here morning fishing in so long or in high tide fishing in so long. So we shall see how we can do. Oh, fish. Oh, feels good. What a, oh! Oh, I think that was it. Was that a snakehead? Was that a bass? Oh. Mm. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> what? Dang. I was wondering if you were a snakehead, buddy. You are not a snakehead. I'll get my pliers. <laughs> It's not a bad size bass. So he tried to take down this huge, huge spinner. I got my PB bass on this spinner, by the way. Little fun fact. Little fun fact. One of the reasons I love to bring two rods is, you know, we were getting hits and I just think that lure I'm using is a little too big for the bass that are biting right now. Luckily, I've got this. These guys are whacking top water. As I say, that catches it on the neg rig. <laughs> I get a feeling this is a lot of the size of the bass that are hitting right now. Cause I was missing them on my bigger lure. Man. Ooh. There he is. All right. Gosh, the, the bite is so good. I know we've only caught two fish, but I've had like a ton of bites. Like I said, if I had like a normal bass lure, a little bit smaller, I'd be crushing it. Should be a fish. Bass are so weird, dude. Sometimes they fight like beast. Sometimes you get what you all just saw. He's barely hooked. Dang, that might be our nicest one of the day. We were just crushing it. Beautiful bass, beautiful bass. I mean, we're annihilating them. I think this might be the best 
bites I've ever gotten here. I mean, I'm just getting a bite like every cast. Man. Whacking them, whacking them. No monsters, but all decent enough size. Jeez. They're not super small. They're not huge. They're like, not, they're like one step above a dink, I feel like. Last cast of romance. Oh man, not a good one, but we'll see. Well, chatterbait worked. Oh man, chatterbait is stuck. Oh, that might be our biggest one of the day. Good job, chatterbait. Cool. History on the channel. First catch on a chatterbait. Nice enough fish. I mean, we're catching nice largemouth. They're not, I haven't caught a huge one yet, but never would complain about that. Want to snag a picture and then let them go. Let's let you go. Pretty fish. Good size. Having fun today, boys and girls. I will say, this is my first time fishing a chatterbait, and I really like the way that it feels when you're reeling it in. I mean, you can feel the vibrations on this thing. And the way that I've got mine hooked up, is I've got a chatterbait. I'll put a link in the info of what I'm using for everything. I always do in case y'all are ever wondering. Um, but I've got the chatterbait and I've got it rigged up on a swim bait too. I think it's a Strike King swim bait. I don't know. I'll put the the one I'm using the size in the chat and we'll see if we catch anything else with this. We might. We might not. The bite has definitely slowed down a little bit. Definitely a bit limited on the casting with this guy. Another nice bass. All about the same size. Yeah, all these guys have been about the same size. Cool. I mean, this is a great day of fishing though. I like love this, dude. I'm like having so much fun hanging out in the swamp. Got the whole swamp to myself. Me and the bass, hanging out. Nico Helgramite, still, if not my favorite bass lure. Gotta be top, top five? No, it's gotta be top three if not, if not one, it's top three. A lot of different approaches today. We use a spinner, fast retrieve, chatterbait, a little bit slower retrieve. Um, what else do we use? Whopper plopper, no luck. Crankbait, no luck. And this guy's totally different. I mean, you're just letting this guy sink, maybe dragging it a bit. Quick little spot change here. Dude, I used to absolutely, 
annihilate over here, but this year haven't done anything from this spot. Nothing. We have murdered, murdered it here in the past with the Helgramite. Question is, will we be able to do such things today? First things first, I haven't got to pick this area with the Helgramite yet, so we're gonna go over here. And just like that, we are back to where we left things off, ladies and gentlemen. Whoops. The other thing is usually I ultralight fish. I got 10 pound test on this, so I can actually pull the bass up here. All right. That don't look great. Those leeches or some type of parasite on him. Yeah, a little smaller than the other ones actually probably. Um, make sure we throw them far enough out. Gave him a little toss there because there's rocks there and I wanted to make sure we got him in the deeper water. Cool, one for one on the Helgramite. Oh man, oh man, oh shucks, that's a nice large mouth. I can't land him up here. Oh my gosh y'all, that is so sketch. Got a good hook set on him. Oh man. He's a tank. He's. Let's go. The amount of sketch I went through to get this fish. <laughs> what a day of bass fishing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my Lord. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at that baby, there's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's go. <sighs> All right, he's saving the tank for last. Look at him. It's a nice bass. That is a very nice bass, especially for um, John Hines. So we didn't catch any monsters until now, but we're gonna let him go. How you feeling, bud? <laughs> Let's go. All right, little backstory on that bass. He, uh, I think he, I, my my video died, so I changed my batteries and. While I was dead, I was reeling in and I was right in there and a bass hit on that chatterbait. And I was like, dang, but he didn't get caught. So I was using the chatterbait and I was getting some bites, but then I wasn't catching any fish there. So I changed that Helgramite and he just annihilated it. And I felt him and I set the hook really nicely and I'm glad I did, otherwise I would have never gone to him. I had to jump over here, which I would not suggest doing, but I don't know. I'm a nut. That is going to be a wrap on today. I had a great day of fishing. Like, I love bass fishing. And today was just a reminder of how great bass fishing is. I think when the bass are biting, they're probably my favorite fish to catch. Um, still prefer smallmouth over largemouth, but catching a lot of largemouth that are decent size, man, there really isn't 
many things in life better than that. I just loved it. Um, loved today. Loved the fishing. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. See y'all.